I don't know if you've spent a lot of time on art talk lately, but there's lots of videos busting the myth that red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. There's lots of reasons RYB has stuck with us, from the history of pigments, color science, and education, to the confusing language around color. Like this primary quinacridone magenta could also be called red. Because red, yellow, and blue are generic hues that embrace a wide range of color. But I want to talk about something that isn't often discussed, and that is, when you're armed with the knowledge that cyan, yellow, and magenta are the truest primaries for painting, what do you actually go out and buy? And why aren't their colors simply named cyan, yellow, and magenta. You usually find these names in cheaper paints, when they're usually an impure mix of pigments like phthalo blue and white. But in reality, no true CMY colors exist in a form we can buy as paint. So when people talk about using these colors, they really mean the closest approximate colors you can get. Modern pigments like phthalo blue red shade, azo yellow medium, and quinacridone magenta come the closest. But there is choice. Some artists use permanent rose or cadmium yellows, and I've seen different paint brands suggest different pigments as their CMY primaries. There's a difference between color science and how that translates to mixing physical imperfect paint. Every single paint color has its own transparency, dry time, permanence, texture, temperature bias, and undertones, and these are all things to consider when you pick the paint colors on your palette. For me, primary colors are most useful as a framework to understanding color mixing, or as an efficient and expensive palette. No three paint colors on earth are capable of mixing all colors. The beauty of paint is not just its color, but also its unique physical character. So I say pick the paint colors you like.